Busy week, another day in the bay. Another day um, in the bay. We've got another one tomorrow as well. So we are head first into show season now, so that the bay's gonna get way busier. We've got Jordan and his dad Darren in today with their Porsche. 912 or 912 as um, Paul corrected us. 912E. 912E, not the electric one. Okay. So they're gonna be on our stand at Stanford Hall. Being in the family, they have Porsches there, split screens, bay window, bay window camper vans, T25s, Beetles, everything. And um, these guys are gonna be on our stand with the car. So we thought we'd bring it in for, not, we're not gonna overhaul the paint and give it a big old restoration because it's got older paint on it, we wanna be quite gentle. So we're gonna be cleaning it down with our usual suspect, um, the kind of bay hero, um, which is the ultimate waterless wash and wax. And then we're gonna hit it up with some clay bar just to get rid of any kind of surface defects. And then we're gonna try and see what we can do with the three one wax um, to brighten the color and give it some protection as well. Like I said, we're not gonna hit it hard with like big machine polishing and harder compounds. Just gonna gently massage the color to bring back the brightness and also give it some protection. Last one, stay in the bank, let's do it. So, let's get the surface nice and lubricated. You can even spray the clay if you want. And then all we need to do is kind of up and down and left and right. I, te I don't do circles because it's too random. You could miss areas. So just going up and down, left and right is all good. And what you'll find is you'll it will go quieter when you do it. You can kind of hear it going over the bumps and lumps and that kind of thing, but it will just go yeah, a lot smoother as you do it. So you can see it's already picking up crap from the paint. So if, you, if you're never quite sure if the car needs clay barring, um, once you've cleaned it down, um, all you need to do is kind of rub your hand on the surface, if you can hear that. One, you can feel it, you can feel that it's kind of uneven and there's things sitting on the paint, but also you can hear it, it's like a bit of a kind of a sandpapery rustling noise. Um, that's a good indication that the car needs a clay. So we've got our clay bar here and we've got our quick detailer. The reason we use the, the kind of basic quick detailer is because this offers nothing other than a slippery surface for this paint. Um, would never advise using water on its own because it's not slippy enough. You need the pro properties in this to create that gliding kind of motion on the paint. And would also never advise you using one of our kind of our more premium detailers like our Gold Class, Mirror Bright or Ultimate. It's all because it's a bit of a dog's body job. You don't want to waste a good detailer on that. You just want to use the fit purpose detailer. Get it nice and wet on the surface. Get the, fold the clay out to about five centimeter kind of disc. Four fingers, like fingertip pressure only, and then just back and forth, and up and down. And what this is doing is lifting those bonded contaminants away from the paint and being embedded into the clay. So, because we're, we're being gentle with the paint, because we don't know the paint history, I know you said it's maybe over 10, 12 years old maybe, um, we don't want to as we've spoken over, we're not hitting this hard, we're not doing a paint renovation, but we want to brighten that red, because it's already in pretty good condition. So we're going to use a three one wax, solely because this is going to do a light restoration without overworking the surface, and also it's going to give it that brightness and the protection. So I'm just going to put a small amount on there, so perhaps you can see, like that, see you told that did. So, like we covered last time, prime the surface by putting your little stripes on there, and then just gently work the wax into the surface. Now the good thing, because it is a working wax, because it can do a light restoration, you can do one pass or you can do several to kind of work it in and kind of revive that colour. It is going to get rid of light swirls as well. Can you put pressure on that? You can put a little bit on, because we're doing a little bit more than just applying the wax, we're kind of working it in. Put a little bit of pressure on there, not enough to shake the hog out. And obviously we can see that it's not cured yet. Yeah. So we're going to leave that to cure and then just work on to a new section. So if you want to put some on, on the pad and work this middle area. I think it's important to note that even though it, you can work it in, you still need to let it cure. Yes, Because exactly it is a wax. Right. Yeah. So we mentioned earlier about using pads instead of cloths to apply wax. It's all because the cloth will just absorb too much product and you'll be left with kind of like a dry surface area and it's just no good for the paint. So using a soft foam pad will spread the product and you won't waste any it either.
you can see here, do the stripe. See how nice oh, and clear yeah. that is? That means it's ready to come off. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do, we'll get our fluffy finishing towel. And then what I like to do is kind of keep this edge kind of on there. So I've got a nice chunky kind of towel that's touching the, pan, uh, the panel. And then just nice clean straight lines, that's it. That's how easy the wax should be to remove. Like it's not dragging, it's not catching the towel. It's nice and easy. And if you find there's a bit of excess product on there, just flip it to a dry side and then just wipe the opposite way, like we did with the wash and wax. Drops again. Yeah, done. Like I said, the whole theme of today's day in the bay was to do as little as possible um, for maximum results. Um, so give it a gentle clean and we then clay barred it and then using our 3 one wax to refine and protect the paint. And it's given it a real brightness and a depth of gloss. I think it's gonna look fantastic uh, for the show season, uh, especially during the summer kind of outdoor shows. Done. Thanks for another day in the bay. Another day in the bay, sons of mine. <laughs>